all right uh, hey everybody so uh, today is going to be a little uh, a different video from what I've been doing in the series of uh, this one is for an RTR exam I guess uh, my Indian subscribers would uh, uh, be benefited more out of this anyway uh, this had come due to a special request uh, from a couple of my subscribers here and hence I decided to uh, make a video they just wanted to know um, how to read out an RTR chart what what is there what are the components of an RTR chart right here I've just taken a a, a simple uh, RTR chart uh, and of course the most important thing is for RTR exam preparation only so yeah so this is what a, a general RTR chart looks like in uh, the exam that comes up um, there are two uh, parts in the RTR exam the first one is uh, of course the this one which includes your uh, communication with the ATC and uh, your reactions to their uh, you know queries and everything that they send out uh, as a pilot if you're flying and uh, the second one is a viva uh, so here I'm going to in this video I'm just going to tell you how to read out an RTR chart what are the components of that alright so let's start off with uh, let's take Mumbai for example alright so Mumbai here uh, if you see SMC that is uh, surface movement control and uh, if you see there is tower approach the frequencies and area control frequencies D ATIS that is digital ATIS frequency so all the frequencies are given in green color beside the destination or uh, the city that you're flying to or flying out from so Mumbai uh, this uh, pentagon that is here in this chart is uh, depicted as a VOR and uh, then the sign is bravo 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 now this there's something called a CTR if you can see here now the CTR is control uh, terminal region so that defines the boundary that Mumbai uh, uh, will be controlling as well so this TMA and by 70 is the 7000 feet that uh, you know in 40 nautical mile radius CTR will have 70 uh, 7000 feet of jurisdiction and uh, these blue lines that are there these blue lines if you can see around here uh, these are area given to specific uh, you know uh, control towers or control regions so now for example let's go down here uh, Mangalore if you can see here to your left now Mangalore has this region drawn out clear cut so any aircraft in this region will be under Mangalore and they have Mangalore also has Mike Mike Lima here and it has its different uh, you know jurisdictions CTR 250 uh, CTR control uh, terminal region is from the surface area surface uh, sorry surface of the earth to a certain height that is 5000 feet here then TMA stands for terminal M maneuvering area and uh, that is uh, different circles th 30 nautical mile 50 nautical mile 70 not 75 nautical mile and so on and these are just designations jurisdiction height jurisdictions that uh, that uh, that ATC uh, will play take con take uh, control of now another thing I would want to discuss here is uh, these uh, waypoints say for example Agela is here Bogart Minute Igmar etc so all these are designated by triangles if you can see and they are filled black triangles alright so now in this what happened filled black triangles in the exam uh, requires you to uh, makes it a, a mandatory reporting point as in if you're doing that sector uh, suppose let's go to uh, Mumbai to um, Hyderabad so while you are on this 119 is your track of course the track from Mumbai and uh, this is whiskey 28 whiskey 28 is your uh, whiskey 28 here is your uh, the ATS route ATS route all right so now what uh, happens is uh, when you're on this uh, path Zulu is the one that comes up in your way so there at that point it is absolutely mandatory for you to uh, report your position to the respective uh, region now the, in this you can see a big green line uh, here that is and that is Mumbai to Chennai Mumbai FIR and Chennai FIR so here flight information region FIR stands for flight information region and uh, this is when you have to contact the respective uh, uh, Chennai FIR or Mumbai FIR when you're crossing cr crossing these uh, you know line and hence if you see if you notice most of the triangle 
uh, that are their mandatory reporting points that are there are on the green line as well because you have to report to the other FIR that you are entering their airspace all right so yeah that is about uh, the mandatory point an interesting thing I would like to tell you about the mandatory point is uh, if you notice most of them will have uh, two vowels in them I guess that's for easier pronunciation but if you if you can see Bogart has a O and an A and if you take up uh, Agela has an E and an A Gulam has a U and an A so most of them have two vowels alright and uh, the circles on this one uh, this chart uh, if you can see Victor Bravo circles are NDBs in this chart so they are NDBs and by the way these this chart is only for examination purposes so do not compare it with a Jepson or any other charts that you use for actual navigation these are charts for only your reference now there's something interesting about um, here if you can see whiskey 28 is there and at the bottom you can see here whiskey 56 north all right so north is uh, in this case is that this this atus route is going to be used for moving north north northerly direction only now there'll be also see whiskey 56 south if you can see here whiskey 56 south and whiskey 56 north this is just to you know uh, have a good flow of traffic in a in a in a directional uh, manner so that it doesn't uh, uh, because the ATS control no ATS ATC controllers know which side the aircraft is coming from and uh, yeah so also uh, each uh, uh, you know each city or each uh, ATS ATC control has a defined boundary after which it will be changing over to a certain a closer major ATC controller for example if you see Bravo India Alpha that is Bangalore Bravo India Alpha is the VOR designator and uh, here we have a 30 nautical mile uh, you know boundary and it is written here 95 uh, by CTR so Bangalore uh, CTR tower will have a control at uh, 30 nautical miles at 9500 feet and if you cross this border here here right here this blue line this blue line you will come into Chennai region and Chennai will have a multiple because Chennai is a very big uh, it's an FIR by itself and it's also a big uh, uh, you know ATC controller so it has various limits coming up from TM8 by 200 at the outer level this is a 200 nautical mile radius and then it's a 100 nautical mile TMA by 100 TMA by 50 50 by CTR and uh, so that's why you know uh, certain cities just after immediately after flying out 30 nautical miles for a jet aircraft is nothing it just is really fast so out of flying out of Bangalore you generally you know shift to Chennai uh, airspace really quickly if you're traveling in that direction so all the smaller all the smaller cities like you know Cochin, Coimbatore they just generally if you can see they just have single frequencies tower all right so even Cochin I think Cochin has approach as well that's okay Calicut has only tower here so these smaller um, you know cities actually just have to switch over to bigger nearby uh, you know ATC controllers because they have a larger jurisdiction so and uh, that's all about this chart it's uh, very fairly simple and if you guys have any doubts on this uh, just uh, drop a comment or uh, uh, drop me a message I will surely get back and uh, the tracks we have discussed the tracks and if you see there's an arrow mark here as well also that 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 is similar to depicting your direction of uh, flying you just fly from mapta that is a mandatory reporting point to this direction towards bellari bravo bravo india so that's all about it uh, i guess and then after this i'll just continue on to our uh, last chapter uh, carburetors that is on the piston engine side and uh, that's all then i'll see you guys any 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 uh, comments with you suggestions that you guys have for this video let me know I've, this is something that i've just tried new and um, and yes any any other special requests that you guys have like today i just made this up for uh, people who had asked for and uh, I'll, I'll i'll try my best and all right then if you like the video do like it share it comment below and subscribe to the channel like the facebook page and i don't think i'll have a quiz link for this because this is fairly simple and uh, that's all about it guys have a great day bye bye